Hello and welcome everyone to my Let's Play Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. This is Algadis115. So let me welcome all of you to the final level of the, well, of the four expansion levels. Now this is the switch we use to enter into this level, but in the actual map of this level it serves no purpose. Now as soon as you enter there are going to be four pickups around, but let's ignore them for a while, we'll attend them later. Yeah, first I'm going to have to find out if I'll survive this this meatball checkerboard puzzle. There should be 35 of these boulders to just sort of cross their paths to give us a warning and some of these tiles trigger certain boulders. It's not always as clear cut as you might think whereas some are safe and trigger absolutely nothing. Now what I'm gonna try and do is to trigger all the boulders possible one, one of them basically never triggers and also make it across the room now this, I'm gonna have to do a series of, well, movements. I, I actually practiced, but I'm still not super confident about this. Now we can just step here and trigger that one. Okay, now these two tiles, let's jump over the white one and go back. Oh! Oh my goodness, that was so close. We triggered both of them. Okay, and there should be another one here. Now mind you, on this board, um, the tiles with the sort of um, carving on them, I think you can see five of them, to, to Lara's right, um, these are actually perfectly safe. You can land on them and I don't think boulders ever cross through them. But nevertheless, uh, let's try and trigger all the boulders we can. <laughs> it's pretty intense, isn't it? Okay, that should do it. Now, I'm a bit uncertain about... Oh yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure my hands are shaking at this point. Okay, let's try and make it across to the safe tiles. Okay, okay. Awesome. Now, there's only a few of them remaining. Um, basically, I can't really remember which one of these are triggers all the time. I sort of made a small reference map to help me with that. And the reason my movements are so slow is that I'm constantly referring to it, so as not to make any mistake. Okay, and the... wait a second. Okay, I think this should be... it. Oh yeah, okay. Now as you might have noticed, my favorite movement to sort of get on a tile and then immediately go back is to just roll twice. Lara will very quickly uh, launch herself to the direction you're currently facing. Okay, and I think this should be the last one over here. Yes indeed, and as you can see there is only one boulder left on the ceiling and that is one that I really don't know how to trigger and I didn't find any information in other walkthroughs about it either, so I don't think it's even supposed to trigger, it's just there to sort of give you the impression of uncertainty, I guess. Now mind you, the two mutants that were here early on are gonna wake up only once you use the switches to open the doors. Okay, and there's another one. Ouchie! Basically just flew into the fireball over there. Oh well. Now mind you, as I said, um, we're only going to be using Uzis in this level, even though we're going to be finding shotgun shells and magnum clips. And the reason is that, well, basically, we saved up plenty of ammunition. We didn't really use them in the previous ones. Yeah. Oh, and I just realized something. This is pretty much the last opportunity to see Lara without, you know, without her ponytail, the classic look. In Tomb Raider 1 she still doesn't have it, she has some, these sort of braids as a hairstyle. So if for some reason you're a fan of this hairstyle, um, enjoy while you can. Okay, we've been through worse, especially in Greece. Okay. I love this sort of line pulsating with flesh over here. It's really cool. Actually, 
when you think about it, this is a very sad level. I mean, we're gonna be killing plenty of babies here. I know, bloodthirsty babies that will just rip you or throw out as soon as they can, but still. This structure is their mother. I don't really get it. They're not born out of any living creature, they're born out of architecture. That's just odd. Okay, I'm getting sick and tired of that noise, so let's just jump forward. Okay, and now you're gonna have to do a series of jump and sort of tilt Lara to the right each time you do jump forward. And you should eventually reach this safe platform, just like this. Now, this is a nasty area, but I really like the way it looks. It's kind of like a river made out of lava. It's pretty awesome. Oh dear, I seem to be getting performance issues each time these guys explode for some reason. That's very odd. And yes, there's gonna be flying demon coming from the pit. Okay. I'm just gonna save for a while over here and see why am I getting performance issues. I'll be with you just in a second. Okay, I do hope the problem is fixed. We're actually gonna find out next time we'll encounter another exploding enemy. But at any rate, the way I'm heading right now is the first and only secret of this level, which, yes, also makes it the final secret of unfinished business. Always gives me such a sense of accomplishment when I, you know, find the last secret of a particular instance of a game. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, the reward is kind of disappointing. Just a large health pack in this corner. And yeah, that's the secret chime. Now, you know, it amazes me how hot it must be here, and Lara can just, you know, handle it. Let's not look for realism in these games. And so, yeah, apparently, lava textures are safe to sort of bump into, but not step upon. And yes, I can hear you, you hungry mutant. I'm gonna deal with you in a while. Now, wait, let me think. Oh yeah, there should be a small health pack over here. And... Oh, I really like this part. It's basically just a pool of lava, you know, nothing too remarkable. But for some reason it attracts me like a moth to a flame. Imagine a chorus singing each time we're gonna approach this thing. Oh, oh, no! You sneaky bastard. Not even gonna let us enjoy the sight. Okay. It's the other health pack, and yeah. Now, what follows is um, yeah, a series of uh, time jumps we're gonna have to do. Basically, uh, there are gonna be two doors, it doesn't matter which one we will pick, however, we're gonna have to enter one of them at least to reach the next area and both are on a timer so that can be a little tricky okay there should be another one here oh yeah now um, as I said I'm gonna be using Uzis in this level and we should not run out of ammunition during my trial run I still had over 1400 shots left. So I think we didn't even have to save that all, all the ammunition in the previous level. But, you know, it was worth it for the peace of mind, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I find the left door much easier to access. Okay, sweet. Now, this is a very awkward room. As you can see, there are no pickups, there are just going to be two demons that are going to hatch from those eggs. And the switch over here should open that door, but for some reason it never does. I, I don't understand why, but the thing is, we'd want that door open only if we want to return, and we do not want to return. Because we missed nothing. Okay. 
Now, mind you, this level is... I think it's gonna be even shorter than the uh, Atlantean Stronghold, but... Um, yeah, there are gonna be 60 pickups and 41 enemies and only one secret, but... The enemies and pickups are very tightly clustered together. So, even if the level is not big, it's still very content-packed. And I like that. Okay. And to be honest with you, any level is better than Temple of the Cat. Seriously. I hated that level so much. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be really odd. Uh oh. Close call, almost died. Sorry about that. I was just thinking, there is a centaur up ahead that we can't shoot because Lara ignores him until we get too close. Very frustrating. Okay, damn it, sorry about the mistake. Um let me make amends. Happens to the best of us, right? Yeah, yeah, not really. <clears throat> okay, so as I was saying, uh, there is a center up ahead. See, he's just overlooking the corridor in a very stylish, cool sort of way. But you know, thing is, I want to just dispose of him, but Lara doesn't. Not until you step on the following tile and he awakens. That's when Lara starts shooting. Oh dear, this is fun. I can do this all day. Ouch! Okay, now, I guess Lara is a bit of a fair player. Waiting for them to actually reawaken before she starts shooting, but Lara, there is no such thing as honor or rules among beasts. You just kill them before they kill you, that's it. It's nothing personal. Now these Uzi clips are insanely easy to miss. I miss them during my trial run. So, just pay attention to them whilst you're here. Oh, now we're gonna slide. Ah! 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 ah. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> now, mind you, uh, <laughs> not sure if you remember what I said about underwater exploration in the previous level, but um, basically, uh, there are gonna be six pickups in this pool alone. And that should be five small health packs and one pair of Uzi clips. It's insane, really. Thankfully, I know where they are now. So it shouldn't be too much of a pain. Okay, that's the third one, followed by a fourth one right here. A pair of Uzi clips. Thank you, Lara. And in the corner over there should be the last small health pack in this. Oh yeah, they're being very generous. Oh no, Lara, Lara, please pick it up. We do not have that much oxygen left for you to fool around. God damn it, Lara. No, she won't. No, she must make it. Okay, sweet. And yes, that's a mutant there. Oh my goodness. He's not wasting any time, is he? The frame rate drop again. I don't get it. I didn't have this issue in the previous level. Nevertheless, uh, okay, let's just take care of another one. The mutant up ahead is basically on a ledge that is not accessible to us, so just don't worry about that. Shoot him from a distance and be done with it. Yay, and no performance issues. Okay, now, um, this is basically a pool area surrounding sort of a mountain, well, rock formation. And we're gonna be climbing uh, on top of that in in some while from now. But first, we're gonna have to deal with some business uh, in the surrounding area. So, whilst there are pickups I could get now, I'm not gonna get them yet, purely because uh, that's the way to continue. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's find a better vantage point. Oh, I see, there's no such thing as a better vantage point. Maybe... Oh, okay, let's try this. 
Oh dear, no, that's not good. We just awoke three mutants. This isn't going according to plan. Okay, Lara, just shoot those bastards. Come out and play. Come on, come on. Okay. Now then, as I was saying, we're gonna deal with that rock formation in the middle much later on. First, whilst exploring the surrounding areas and getting our kills, there are also a few pickups to pay attention to, like, uh, yeah, the magnum clips over here. Okay, and now we'll just go back for another pair of magnum clips. And believe it or not, five bundles of Uzi ammunition. That's really sweet. Well, thanks to that, we're never gonna run out. Oh dear goodness. What's wrong with me? Okay, just bear with me a second. I guess I'm just too excited at the prospect of doing the Tomb Raider 2 Let's Play in a short while. I'm so looking forward to that. Hopefully you too. Uh, okay. And climbing the flight of very awkward stairs. Yes, this is the uh, treasure stash I was talking about. Five bundles. And as soon as you pick one of these up, two mutants are gonna appear, so just watch out for that. Yeah, I think I can hear them moving and prancing around already. But just take your time, they're not gonna go here, they're just too lazy for that. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, can we make this one? Oh, we can. Oh, and you're also at a very safe distance to just shoot them and dodge the incoming fireballs, so that's kind of handy. Okay, now that we've dealt with that threat, there's one last corner for us to explore. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's just go for another swim then. Lara, please don't let me down. How about I will not save during the entirety of this level, huh? Get the stakes up higher a bit, and in case we fail, we'll have to start from all... Well, not all over again, I save during the... Uh, just before the first secret. To check my performance issues, but... I'm just wondering if we can do this without saving at all. And I think we can, although there are gonna be quite a few random factors whilst fighting the mutants. Uh, let me just think about it. Once I'll, once I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be distracted and actually forget to save. Now, mind the two centers over here. It's gonna be noisy and long. Ouch! Ouch! Oh my goodness. That was actually more fun than it looked. I love doing that. And it was really cool the way they alternated fire from each other. It was like, imagine one centaur just deciding to go akimbo and using both blasters. They never do that, do they? I think they only have a blaster on one arm. Not great survivalists, Natla. I actually still remember her saying, you can't bump off me and my brood that easily, Lara. Well, apparently we can. Now mind you, there are four switches over here. Two of them open an optional area, like this one, whereas the other two open up a set of door we need to open in order to continue. 
basically you can sort of identify them by the column the column we're standing at right now opens up the doors you need to open whereas the one to our right opens up doors for an optional area with plenty of kills and supplies now let's not pick up that large health pack quite yet oh dear let's use a small one I did not see that coming Okay, one down, one more to go. Okay. Now, yeah, as you might have noticed, we both we opened two golden doors, one on each side, and yes, beneath both of them are large health packs placed just like that, very convenient. The fighting here is going to be the most brutal up to date so far. Oh look, small and a small eggs and a large one. I wonder what that means. That basically means there should be a demon hatching from here, but... Oh, a centaur then, and a demon! Why the hell not? Oh, this is most certainly not good. You know what, I think I'm gonna make an escape attempt. Come on, Lara, do not let me down. Bloody hell, that was unexpected. During my trial run, the flying demon hatched first, then the centaur, and then another demon, whereas now it's just complete chaos. Lara, please shoot the demon. The centaur's just minding its own business, shoot the demon the demon would have to come in range. Now this is very tricky. Basically just trying to shoot from a corner, unable to see anything. This is a bad situation to be in. The centaur's down! Now onto demon. Oh, just die. And make sure you stay, stay the hell away from their corpses. Oh, another one's gonna hatch. Oh yeah. This was a cakewalk after the center, really. Wow, that was really something, and it was actually kind of fun. Now, um, we could theoretically go back, however, there's another way back, one that will lead us through a corridor full of supplies. Now mind you, there are two underwater levers over here, one is once again optional, the other one will lead us out. So first let's deal with the optional one. Let's just open both of them first. It's very awkward because the uh, one to the right opens the door on the left. One on the left opens the door to the right. Not sure what's the logic behind that. Okay, so four bundles of Uzi ammunition and large health pack again, which is cool considering we just used two small ones. Kind of getting our uh, value back. Off. But we're running out of oxygen, and it's really awkward to pick up items underwater in Tomb Raider 1. There is almost zero pathfinding the Falara to automatically enclose to the items. It's much more improved uh, in Tomb Raider 2. And you can also do rolls underwater. Oh god, I'm so looking forward to that. Actually, I think you can do rolls whilst swan diving in uh, Tomb Raider 2. That's gonna look really stylish. Okay, now there should be two bundles of Uzi clips, yes. And a large health pack, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now just Uzi ammunition. There we go, there we go. sure if we can make it out in time, but, you know, let's be brave. Nope, nothing in here, let's just get out. And, as you might have guessed, oh, wait, wait a second. Yes, we're in the pool area, but there was a small alcove over here, let me see. Maybe it's a false alarm. Oh, yeah, it's just a corner. Okay, fair enough. We're still in the same area. And now, um, yeah, we can actually climb this sort of 
odd rocky formation in the middle which is gonna lead us to the actual hive finally now if you remember the area that we looked at through the flashy window in the Atlantean stronghold level I was wondering if we're ever gonna reach that point uh, in future levels uh, yes we are we're gonna reach that area here in the hive level which is gonna be pretty interesting You know, the level des design of, well, the design of this particular level is very sort of random, chaotic. Probably they wanted to make it look more organic, you know, like stuff just grows. It doesn't really make any, any technical sense if you think about it. So yeah, when I'm talking about, well, let's say, awkward climbing or awkward formations, awkward stairs, that sort of thing, what I'm really referring to is sort of organic level design. Okay. Now it doesn't matter which one of these doors we'll choose. Basically that means you can only you only need to open one of them. What matters is that we kill this guy bit Oh my goodness. Oh this isn't good. Lara you promised me you wouldn't die. No, actually she didn't. I was the arrogant bastard who made the wager and I lost. Oh dear. Okay, let me just get here back again. Okay, there's it. Another shot at Mutie the Mutant. Let's see how this will go. Hey there Mutie, long time no see. Please die. Oh. You went down like a man Mutie, you really did. Okay. Now, this is actually really embarrassing, um, this is my, well, third attempt at this guy, I mean, once he killed me, I went ahead and gave it another try, but I emerged victorious, and then I realized, like an idiot, I didn't record it, so I had to do it all over again, yeah, but what matters is that Muty is dead, never to bother us again, and we can continue delving deeper into the hive, see what monstrosities we will have to face. Okay, now this is going to be a particularly interesting room, and I think I'm going to save without any doubt, because it's just insane. Now, mind you, there are eight mutants in this room, and there are ways not to make them, uh, not to awaken them all at the same time. They are basically um, awakened by stepping on certain tiles. Now, I'm not really familiar which tiles awaken which which of these mutants, but um, I think I know what to do in order not to awaken all of them at the same time. Now, first basically, uh, we just have to step on the altar and get any of these shotgun shell pickups. Yep, they're still all dormant, that's good. I guess uh, they wanted to uh, not make you stand on the safe spot by putting the magma, well the lava bubbles in here, but I'd rather be standing in those than the actual mutants. Now, that was uh, seven shotgun shells, which we're never going to use again, but let me just save over here. Uh, the hive. Okay, now, <laughs> let's see how this will work out. Now, as soon as you step on the outer ring, someone should awake. Oh, that's that guy. Okay, okay. And he ran away. The bastard. Okay, but they're not going to disappear. I can hear new steps from somewhere. Oh, okay. That's two guys who have awakened and who ran off. Bloody cowards. Says I on a safe spot. Oh well, okay. Okay, fine. Not sure how to wake more of these. Maybe if we step into the outer ring? No? Okay. Oh, wait, what? What? No, no, no! Okay, this is intense. More than I bargained for. Not the lava, Lara. Not the lava. Oh my god. Let's heal.
Okay, okay, we're doing well, well, except for the uh, performance issues. But that was just so intense. Actually, I don't think those were performance issues at all. I think it was Lara, just, you know, her perception of slow motion being in a really intense moment. Yeah, that's what was really going on. The game is smart that way, isn't it? What about you? Okay, let's go back to the safe spot. Few of these guys should return to get shot. Or are they? Hmm, this is most awkward. Oh yeah, I can hear them. Oh, that was such a close jump. We almost killed ourselves. Okay. Yeah, the performance issues are actually always at the same time. Whenever all their limbs disappear simultaneously, that's when we get a frame rate drop. And I don't understand why we didn't have this problem in the main game or the, um, hell, even the previous level. So it's not a Tomb Raider unfinished business exit, it must be something else causing it. Whatever it is, I hope we're not going to have issues with it in the next game. Yeah, each time their limbs disappear frame rate will drop and this only happens whilst I'm recording. Oh well. It's a really old laptop I'm playing on so that's kind of understandable. And I think that's it for this room so that should be seven shotgun shell pickups and eight mutants which is really impressive for such a small corridor. Yeah, that room is actually a great example of what I meant when I said that pickups and kills are clustered together in this level. So it's not big in spatial terms, but yeah, content packed. And talking about content, there's gonna be a hatchery. Oh yeah, Isaac's gonna burst somehow. Oh, like that. What's going on? You agile bastard. Okay, that's one down. And there are quite a few enemies left, so let's just heal. We didn't get a good start with this one. But this should be better. Oh no, we awakened the one behind us. Lara, turn back and shoot. Okay, and as for the last one. Fine, that's it. Okay, sweet. Ugh. Now, what we're gonna have to do is just press both of these levers. Uh, you can explore if you want, but there are really no pickups to mention. And I love how these are sort of some sort of glass domes. It kind of reminds me of Lara's pool in her mansion, really. Just with, you know, little water and plenty of mutants. Now, mind you, these eggs will just hatch prematurely. Which means no enemies will spawn from them, which I'm grateful. Probably if this game would have a better engine, we would just see some sort of bloody embryo in- Wait a second. What is that? Is that Lara's ass hanging in the air? What the hell? Is this what hatched from the egg, Lara's ass? And look at the other one. What the hell is this? Is this a deliberate design or is it some sort of glitch? Because it's really creepy. So you don't get mutants from these eggs, you get Lara's ass from every one of them. Wow. Oh look, Lara's ass. Oh look, another one. And another one. This isn't right. This is a nightmare. Oh. Both of Lara's asses just popped up. And there's the last one. Okay, let's get out of this room. It just creeps me out too much. Lara, what the hell is that? So, let me get this right. Natless Brute are monsters that shoot fireballs or darts, jump and prance around and can eat you alive, whereas Lara's Brute is just her ass. Is that your greatest weapon, Lara? I hope not. She? See, she's even too embarrassed to speak. Oh my god. But it's just floating in the air, that's really disturbing. And all of them have the same belt buckle. <laughs> okay, now, as for this room, um, 
This isn't going to be quite as easy as the previous one because there should be more of these guys. Yeah, basically that eight eggs, but only from four of these something will hatch. Just like that. Okay, these performance issues are getting really annoying, but just bear with me. And yes, Lara's ass in each one of them. So it's either a mutant or Lara's ass. I think I'd prefer a mutant. Because a dismembered ass is kind of well, scary. <clears throat> well, that's just odd. I didn't notice these during my trial run. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. So it must be something specific to this particular instance of me playing? I don't know. Or maybe it's a common knowledge and I was just unaware of it. Maybe it's a running joke in Tomb Raider community, but I had no idea such thing existed. Okay, time for dynamic exit. Oh dear, I messed that up. They can't even let us enjoy the vista, they just have to close. Well, this is awkward. Okay, let me just do this again. Sorry to make you run through the room full of Lara's asses again, but uh, you know, I make mistakes when I'm too excited. I think I should record videos while I'm being depressed. I'd be like, "No, oh, we failed. What's the point?" And look, they burst open. Well, some of them, and thankfully, Torza boss did not hatch from the big one because I don't see how we would have fight him in this particular area. And let the current take us away. And that's 60 pickups, 41 kills, and one secret. And that's basically it for this level. So thank you guys for watching the unfinished business levels with me, and I'll see you next time in Tomb Raider 2. Yeah, this time I can actually say it with confidence. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you later.